Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we are going to upgrade our existing extension box to infrared remote controlled extension box. You can use any IR remote control for this purpose like the remote control of your music system or your television or if your mobile has IR then it can be used and anything. Right now it can control only one plug point and I am currently designing controlling multi plug point using IR remote control. This is the circuit diagram of the IR receiver and the controlling unit. We have used the CD4017 in the LED chaser circuit. I will add the link in the description box. This is the transformerless power supply we are using in this circuit. This one we already made as a video and I will add the link in the description box. We don't need any heavy transformer or SMBS for this circuit. This will make the circuit so compact. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and also please like and share this video. We will assemble the receiver and the controlling part in this common board. I will quickly come back after assembling this. We have completed the assembling of the circuit in the common board. The assembling is not very tough. This is 5 volt regulator IC and we have temporarily connected the LEDs directly. We have connected the 12 volt relay also to here. Mm -hmm. This is used for filtering the input supply. While testing between assembling, I used a 9 volt battery, but now we will be using the 12 volt adapter. In the assembled one, I didn't add some filtering capacitors that I will add later. I will explain the connection pins now. Let me zoom a bit. We have connected everything using male PCB connector pins. These three pins are used for connecting the IR receiver module. That is this one and this is positive line and this is negative line and these are the LED uh, connecting pins. I actually I forgot to add the relay pin that we will add later. And now testing time. We are connecting the 12 volt adapter to the circuit. We are connecting the power supply across the filtering capacitor. That will be quite easy for us to connect the alligator clip. And you can see the red LED is lighting which means the relay is off. I will use my television remote control for switching on and off. You can see the green LED is lighting which means the relay is on. I will bring the relay and the circuit close to the mic. Listen carefully of the tick tick sound of the relay. So our circuit diagram is working perfectly. We are powering the circuit using the transformerless power supply. This 3 pin plug do you remember? We assembled this for you. The link we have given in the description box. If you didn't watch the video please watch that video and you will get more knowledge on that. We will deassemble it and take the circuit inside it. We will pull this one out and use that one for powering this circuit. For safety purpose we will add a fuse in series with this circuit. So that if anything wrong happens the fuse will be blown. We are actually upgrading this extension box to remote controlled one. This has a 3 pin plug. This box has enough space to include our assembled PCB, relays and all. We will be connecting the fuse somewhere here and we will be fixing the sensor module here. The sensitivity of this sensor module is too high so we have to fix it inside this box. This is the connection diagram of how we are connecting fuse, relays, switch and the 3 pin socket.
look at this power supply now this becomes very compact please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and also please like and share this video Do not forget to connect this flyback diode. Three of my relay coil burned because I forgot to connect this. This will actually give easy paths to the back EMF. I thought of using a 3 pin bicolor LED while packaging this inside this box. I have only two bicolor LEDs with me and both has one color is not working. So I used two LEDs. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and also please like and share this video.
if you have any idea of packaging this circuit please comment your idea under this video now time to final testing you can see the green led is lighting that means the relay is on there will be supply at the three pin socket you can see the tester is lighting If you have any suggestions, please comment on this video so that we will know that. If you like our video, please click like button. If you do not like our video, click dislike button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.